Welcome to my store. Just demonstrate how to get the algae off the uh, uh, off the, the disc, um, and then into a, a medium that we can then use to start our culture. What's the algae on in that disc? Just an auger, 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 um, with a little bit of the extra nutrients uh, in the in the actual auger, in order to give it some uh, some sustenance to to continue to slowly grow while still. And how long is that good? That disc good for if it's left sealed in a cool, dry place? Six months. Six months. So basically, so we're just going to open up the, uh, the disc. And although there's already fertilizer on the actual disc, uh, we're going to add a little bit of uh, fertilizer culture medium. So this is an F2 uh, medium uh, that we use to, to grow the algae. What's F2 stand for? It's a half. It's a Gillard's. It's a modified Gillard's F2. F2 is a uh, a half strength of the actual uh, formulation. So F1 would be full strength? Full strength, yeah. And F3 would be one third, or? Okay. Yeah. The F2 is the standard uh, for uh, for the aquaculture. Okay. So we're just going to take, in this case, I'm not necessarily looking for uh, exact measurements. All I'm doing is just putting enough of the fertilizer on the disc to sort of just get it moist. Run it around. And again, this is just moisten up the disc. Now, I've, you can use uh, Q-tips, you can use medical swabs. Um, again, you want to have something that's as clean, clean as possible, or sterile, sterile as possible, just to, to minimize your cross-contamination. Okay. Um, so from a culture vessel, you know, sterilized, we use uh, muriatic acid and hydrochloric acids to, yeah. to clean everything. Can um, you use bleach? No. You, uh, sorry, you can, would not recommend it. Um, okay. The the reason we use the acid, so you can use vinegars as a mild acid, is if there are any uh, remnants left on the glass itself, the plastic container, any of the tools that you're using, um, all it does is affect your pH. It'll spike your pH for that momentary as the water goes in. If you have bleach residue, bleach is still there and it will kill everything. Even if it's been 24 hours? Not have good luck with it. And what about CLR? Never used it. Is it uh, some kind of acid? Yeah. I don't know what kind. I, I honestly don't know either. Um, the muriatics are, are the easiest to get. Um, yeah, they got them the hardware stores. Hardware stores, uh, they use the concrete for... Uh, and do you use it full strength or do you dilute it? Uh, depends on, on how much of a rush we're in. Uh, as to the, the strength. Um, it doesn't take a lot to, to, to sterilize it. All you're doing is sterilizing. You can literally just dilute you know, like a cap hole into a gallon of water, and that's enough just to kill all of any bacteria that's in it. And how long um, do you leave it in? A couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, give, it, give it a quick rinse of uh, the filtered water, um, and then away you go. Um, again, as you, soon as you add the new salt water, it's gonna, your, your pH will spike ever so slightly, but it'll dilute itself out over the course of the, uh, uh, the, the actual salt water. In the, have you ever sterilized the water in the microwave? No. Because uh, online uh, it was saying one liter in the microwave for seven minutes would sterilize the water. I guess if, if you were using tap water or aquarium water, um, probably a good idea because you, just, again, you want to kill off any bacteria, any bugs, any, uh, anything that could compete for the, the nutrients and the algae. Um, but if you're using clean sterile containers to begin with, um, it, should be uh, an issue because odds are you probably run through an, uh, an ROVI yeah. type system. You've got pretty much pure water to begin with, and all you're adding is salt water to, uh, to your mix. So while we've been chatting, I just had a chance to sort of just sit there and soak a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just take the, uh, uh, the little Q-tip here, and as you can see, it starts to flake away. And all yeah. I'm doing is just more or less just agitating the, the algae away from the the actual auger medium underneath. Um, for any of you that are interested, auger, auger is uh, seaweed. Uh, we used for gelatinizing uh, in food and uh, lab for uh, petri dishes. Yeah. Uh, so you're basically liquefying the uh, uh, yeah, algae just paste. Just turning it into a nice little paste here. And what do you do with the Q-tip after? 
Because there's obviously some stuff still on. Yeah, they, more or less. I'm just I get as much off as I can, and then once I've got pretty much the the uh, the surface sort of uh, relatively clean, I'm going to take this and I just going to dump it straight into uh, whatever culture vessel I want to use to start my algae culture. So in this case, we're just using a glass uh, vase. Um, it's fairly common that people will use uh, pop bottles. Uh, two, liter. Liter, two liter pop bottles, it's readily available, it's cheap, most people have them in their house. But uh, in the end, all you're looking for for a phyto is something uh, that light can go through um, and you can get an airline into. Okay, uh, so you wouldn't use a blue uh, plastic jug? You, like, you know those water bottles that have a blue tint to them, would that be...? You can, um, and you're just minimizing, you're blocking in spectrum, a little bit of your spectrum. So it'll grow a little slower. Yeah. Uh, you, you, there's a whole science behind photosynthesis, and certainly if you look at hydroponics, uh, you know, what colored lights, what spectrum of lights will grow better than others. Um, for the purposes of the home aquarium, uh, your standard compact fluorescent or fluorescent bulb, um, is more than adequate. It's relatively so like a 10k daylight bulb. Um, it's not so much the the brightness. All you just need light. Um, you actually put in incandescent bulb. Yeah, yeah. Just a regular, you know, uh, out of the Home Depot, your compact version. You know, 65 halogen. Then you're it's in the heat. You're in a heat issue yeah. at that point. Okay. Um, but halogen is bright and deep. Yep. Basically, what you're doing is you want light penetration. As okay. as the algae grows, um, the algae is obviously going to get darker and darker, um, and your light penetration is going to become less and less and less. So it'll grow more on the outside, and right. as it shifts around, it's getting some light right. and so on. Yeah. Uh, light dark cycles, uh, 60, 60 on, 8 hours off. Uh, you can actually let the Fido run 24-7. Uh, most people find it kind of annoying to have a light shining in them all day, all night, when they're trying to sleep, or in a, in a room they're trying to watch TV in. So, um, 16 on, 8 off is, is adequate. During the summer, can you do it outside? You can, but then you're into cross-contamination of who knows what's over in the air. Uh, so you're better inside? You're better, you're better inside to, to uh, more success. Okay. Okay. So as far as what we do with the, the Q-tips, we want to maximize how much algae is going in the, in the culture. And all I'm doing is just sort of rubbing it along the, the sides. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the, the actual salt water, draw that back up to the syringe. Again, as you can see, I still have a relatively green plate here, and I'm going to start rinsing. rinsing. You can use, I've got gloves on, uh, so I can use my fingers. And again, I just want to make sure that I'm getting as much of the algae as I possibly can off this auger disc into my culture. The more algae I start with, the uh, the more or the, the faster it'll grow. So you see, it's fairly clear, and all this is is just a gelatinized disc. Okay. Is it theoretically possible to just take that Q-tip, swipe it across once, and get an algae culture started from that? Absolutely. It would just take a it's, lot longer. It would take a lot longer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 